So of course, a category of fragrances that has been spoken about for a very long time now, decades in fact, is the barbershop category. These are fragrances that have a very nebulous classification. Some consider barbershop fragrances to be lavender-based, some people find them powdery, some people find them clean, some people find them citrusy. There is no definitive explanation or classification for what would be considered a barbershop fragrance. However, in today's episode, I'm gonna be going over 10 of my favorite barbershop fragrances that I have in my collection. I'm very excited and looking forward to sharing this list with you, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I tell you about these 10 barbershop fragrances that I personally love, some of them I have sentimental value with, others I actually enjoy them for some other reasons and I'll go ahead and try to break it down as best as I can. I do want to start the video off first though by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel, which happens on a daily basis by the way. And of course give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me and it would also greatly assist with the YouTube algorithm. So barbershop fragrances, of course you walk into a barbershop, there's talcum powder, there's baby powder, there's the smell of barbasol, there's all these things, right? And we walk out of the barbershop feeling fresh and refreshed and you know we are experiencing a new version of ourselves with our new haircut and whatnot and there's a lot of smells that are typically associated with that barbershop vibe and a lot of people think of fougere fragrances and that's a French word that translates to fern and you know obviously that's an ingredient in a lot of perfumes as well but barbershop fragrances are not just fougere fragrances. So I'm going to talk about some very popular barbershop fragrances throughout the course of this review and of course let's start things off with Le Mans by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Happens to be my scent of the day. This is a fantastic composition by Francis Kirk John. Came out in the mid 90s. When people think of barbershop, this is usually one of the first fragrances that comes to mind. Mint, lavender, vanilla, beautifully done. In my opinion, it still smells quite modern, despite the fact that it came out right around 30 years ago, which, I mean, when you think about it, it's it's been around for quite a while, right? The next fragrance that I wanna talk about is one that I actually worked on as a creative director by Navitus Parfum, it's called Lautus. Now, this one has a very similar note breakdown. There's also lavender and vanilla. There are some really interesting citrusy ingredients in there. The Vanilla Absolute is super high quality. And there's also a spice in here called Cascarilla. This one was composed by Bertrand Duchaufour, who's one of the best perfumers out there. And Lautus is a name that's Latin and it translates to chic or elegant. It just smells very classy. It has a bit of a powdery quality, but it's so elegant and it's so appropriate for a dressed up situation and I personally love wearing it. The next one I want to talk about is by Histoire de Parfum and it's called 1725 Casanova. This is my second bottle of it. I love this fragrance. I was wearing it the day that my daughter was born because I thought to myself, what is a fantastic gentlemanly fragrance? And this is the first one that came to mind. It has bergamot, citron. It has lavender, vanilla, almond, sandalwood, cedarwood, and amber. Beautiful fragrance. Of course, by the Dua brand, we have Mr. Barber. <laughs> <laughs> now this one, lavender, also quite powdery, beautifully done, exactly what you think about when you think of a barbershop type of a fragrance. And look at the liquid inside. It's almost like this dark green color, so strong. I've done a video on it, so I will spare the detailed explanation of how it smells, but definitely check it out. Of course, I also think of green notes when I think of barbershop fragrances, oak moss, fir balsam, uh, vetiver, so on and so forth. Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. You'd be surprised when I tell you that I wore this all throughout high school. It was practically a signature scent for me, and I wore a lot of interesting fragrances in high school that one, probably wouldn't imagine a high school student wearing. I also wore Pie by Givenchy, but this one, a lot of oak moss, very green, very earthy, and it definitely has that traditional barbershop type of a vibe to it. I truly love it. Of course, we also have Heritage or Heritage by Guerlain. This fragrance, again, it's 
powdery, uh, lavender. It actually does smell quite similar to another fragrance on this list, and I'm gonna mention it in just a little bit. But there's something about Heritage that is very classy, very elegant. It does have those aromatic ingredients that many people would associate with a barbershop type of a fragrance. Of course, we also have another fragrance by Hermes, and this one is called Equipage. Now, this one has equestrian influences about it, and there's carnation, there's a lot of earthy ingredients in it as well, but that bright sort of a geranium carnation type of a vibe is just super classy, super elegant. And this, for a lot of people, is going to be like the benchmark. And if you've had the opportunity to smell it, you know exactly what I mean and exactly what I'm talking about. Of course, we also have Versace Lum. Now this one can actually be found for a really good price online. It's an old fragrance, but it's very green, very earthy, definitely along the same lines as Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. There's no denying that. I mean, Versace Lum is such a classy fragrance. I purchased a tester several years ago and it's, I love it. You know, I, I do wear it for nostalgia's sake from time to time. And, just those green earthy notes that are in here definitely remind you of the late 70s, early 80s, and um, it's also quite strong and quite potent. So I mentioned there's another fragrance on this list that kind of smells like Guerlain's Heritage, and uh, I'm sorry that I mentioned another one from Hermes. I made a mistake previously. We have Guerlain and then Hermes, so two different brands, my mistake there. This one is by Raja Parfum and it's called Danger. Now this is the Parfum Cologne version. You might, might also be interested in the stronger concentration, of course, if you're looking for something a little bit bolder, but Danger, it has the spices in here. I think there's caraway, there's a bunch of different spices, but it also has that classy, earthy, lavender and aromatic component to it. And it does in many ways smell quite similar to Heritage or Heritage by Guerlain. I'm sorry for the various pronunciations of it. People say I'm not French enough and I, I'm not French, but I'm trying. But Danger is amazing. And the fragrance in the number one spot, I mean, there's so many fragrances that I could have included in this list. And even as I look over my shoulder here in the distance and I admire the rest of my collection, I just know there's so, 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 so many fragrances that could have potentially made it to this list. But this is like the number one fragrance. Um, there's no denying the power of this fragrance, the strength, the classy vibe, the lavender, the powdery quality. It really does smell like you just came out of a barber shop. Honestly, there's certain smells that you would associate with being well-groomed and being gentlemanly, and this is number one. Please sample it. All of the links are gonna be down below if you're not familiar with any of these fragrances, but by Penhaligans, it's called Sartorial. Nothing beats Sartorial when it comes to a barbershop fragrance. Of course, it's all subjective, but for me, Sartorial is the number one fragrance and I'm so glad I purchased it. And it's composed by Bertrand Duchafour, who also did Lautis by Navitus Parfum. And obviously he's quite the expert when it comes to that DNA. And there's also a few fragrances by Parfum MDCI, like Invasion Barbar, that I think would be uh, fantastic barbershop types of fragrances. And he's also worked on, uh, Bertrand Duchafour has worked on Chypra Palatin, which is not a fougere, it's a Chypra, obviously. But this fragrance is an amazing barbershop fragrance. Powdery lavender, a touch of sweetness, some spices, that bright sort of a geranium, you know, pseudo minty quality in the heart. This is as classy as it will get. Sartorial by Penhaligans. It's even in the name. Guys, thank you so much for watching. 10 barbershop fragrances that I absolutely love. Some of them are very sentimental. Some of them are very personal. Some of them are very popular. And some of them are very iconic. So I'm happy that I'm having the opportunity to share this list with you. Drop your comments below. Let me know, do you have any favorite barbershop fragrances? If so, what are they? Also, how would you define the barbershop genre? Like I said, it's quite hazy, it's quite nebulous. There is no definitive definition for it, but people have different ideas and things come to mind when they think of barbershop. So drop your comment down below. Thank you again so much for watching. I really do enjoy your viewership and I appreciate it very much. It means the world to me. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell and give it a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow.